good evening guys this is me welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video we'll be discussing about adjusting and aiming this build down lights we received a request to make this tutorial basically mr abdul majid was facing a challenge with using a spotlight tinted of 10 degrees in dialogues and he requested to make a tutorial on adjusting and aiming the spotlights he has also sent us the reference image of his project so from this image i i can understand that maybe he has some problem while adjusting the spotlight for using while he was using it to highlight the coffee table or maybe the planter we are going to focus when we are using an adjustable downlight or the spotlight to accentuate any element or if you are using the adjustable downlight as a general lighting layer or a task lighting layer how are we going to do it let's get started i have considered a sample project of a residential space i have, I have a dining space here and a, and a sitting space here let me show you the top view so this is a dining space and here is a sitting space now I'm going to use the adjustable spotlight as my task lighting layer for this dining table okay I'm going to choose micros from Zumtable lighting I'll use micros to select this one when you select any luminaire study its spec sheet first okay because it's an adjustable downlight and you need to understand its tilt angle so you can easily try by searching the keywords tilt angle so here this micros can be tiltable to plus or minus 20 degree okay read this carefully because here they have not mentioned anything as a rotating angle they have just mentioned it as a tilting angle this means this fixture is only tiltable okay it's fixed and you can only tilt in two directions and that to be to a specific number of degrees that is 20 degrees okay now let me uld file for this transfer to dialogs your uld file will get downloaded go to the dialogs import your luminar okay my uld file is imported i will place the luminaire here so i am going to place it here and focus on the dining on the dining table like this one let's go let's see in the 3d view okay now from the data sheet i know that i can't rotate it but i can tilt it up to an angle of plus or minus 20 degrees okay now watch this steps carefully first of all make sure you are selecting the leo alignment and light distribution because it helps us to visualize how the light is being focused so now it is downwards i need to tilt it in an angle such that my dining table is illuminated okay basically what you can do what we generally do is we go to the edit joints here and set illumination point like this okay this is in a way it's a correct in a way it's correct but angle if you go to the luminaire you can see the aiming point angle here is minus 30 degree but i can't tilt my fixture to minus 30 i can tilt it maximum to minus 20 and i can't even rotate it so this angle should be zero and this should be less than 20 or 20 so this is not the proper way okay you can select rotate and go to edit joints select again and here you can see this round green color circle okay and there is one small note kind of thing okay if you click there it's showing now zero degrees and you can tilt it plus or minus 20 degrees see here you're only tilting it you're not rotating anything okay now say i have tilted to max 20 degrees escape now if you see the fixture see here you can see this slight tiltable angle of the fixture okay though your fixture is not tilted only the angle is tilted okay i think this is more visually correct for you okay now this is the proper way that's how you're going to 
adjust it say I can select this okay I will select and paste it here and then I'm going to rotate it let's run a quick calculation calculation is completed and you can see the output since the beam angle is white flood and the tilt angle is only minus 20 degree I'm not able to cover the whole dining table because it's a it's a large dining table the light is not evenly distributed because I have just placed two down two adjustable down lights of course you can you can add the number of down light as per your lighting layout but here in this video I'm just explaining you how you can tilt and aim your adjustable down lights or spotlights so that is how you can rotate and tilt it say this is your ULD file okay and you don't have a ULD file to work on you just have the IES file let's go to the same fixture and download the IES files okay I have downloaded the IES files let me import next I will reduce the height to 0 0.002 because if I don't reduce it it will look as a surface fixture but it's a recess fitting that's the reason I'm going to reduce the height and I'll mark it as finish place individual luminaire okay now here if you go to the edit joints you can't find that green rotating angular lines over here as in ULD file like say this one you can't find it in the IES files okay and if it's an IES file maybe when you're working you will just aim it like this and see it is evenly distributed and you may assume that this is the correct angle of rotation but no it's not the correct angle for rotation because as we know from the data sheet I can't rotate it but I can tilt to plus or minus 20 degrees so what I'm going to do is keep it selected go to the rotation here in the rotating angle I'm going to mention the angle I need say plus 15 degrees it is rotating towards the left side but I need towards the right side so I'm going to give it as minus 15 degrees okay since it's an it's an IS file not an ULD file this luminaire will itself will be slightly tilted and that's why you can see that it looks like half of my luminaire is inside the ceiling and half is outside but no worries your lux calculations will not be impacted with this if you need clear render with proper visualization of even your luminous go for ULD files if you are working only for the calculation IS files are better because with ULD files you will be having the file size of 3d model plus luminaire hence your file ULD files are bit heavier than IS files okay now I can even make a rectangle to minus 20 degrees okay like this so there is no change in the lux calculation with the IES or ULD file the difference will be only in the visualization of the luminaire itself but that is how you have to adjust and aim the tilting angle okay now we saw the luminaire which is only tiltable now let's select a luminaire which is tiltable and also retardable that, that is we have cardan in inzumptable cardan evolution m so we have spotlight spot optics flood optics vertical optics and white flood for now since we already discussed about task lighting or a general lighting layer because you can use this the same adjustable down light as a general lighting layer let us let us work one for ascent lighting layer so let me just concentrate on focusing this planter here so i will choose something with spot optics and here let me select ldo 930 this one okay this is the luminaire let's open the data sheet and check its angles so here i have rotatable is 360 degrees and tiltable is plus or minus 30 degrees which is really nice so we'll go and transfer to dialogs download the uld file go to the dialogs and 
import the uld file place the luminaire say i want to place it over here my plant is over here and as per the data sheet i know that i can tilt it at an angle of plus or minus 30 degree so again go to the edit joints don't just select set illumination point like this depending upon how the light is focusing okay instead because if you do that see your uld file will also not be visually appealing so we'll go back Control z place the luminaire as per your layout then i'm going to rotate it edit joints select here you have an angle and i'm going to rotate it tilt it like this so whichever angle is good for me i think this is good okay fine now the angle i have selected is minus 12.4 you can manually to add the angle here like minus 13 degrees okay from the data i know that this fixture is 360 degree rotatable that means rotate this fixture all around so if i need to focus this from here to here or here or anywhere i can rotate it okay because it is 360 degree rotatable so let me do one thing let me just focus this rotation slightly at an angle like this which is at an angle of 15 degrees now see here your aiming angle is not visible here okay only your rotatable angle is visible that is 15 degrees if you want to know your tilt angle you have to go to the edit joints and here is your tilting angle which is minus 13 degrees okay so that is the difference between rotatable angle and tiltable angle okay let's run the quick calculation please note i selected this luminous only to make you understand how to rotate tilt and adjust its aiming points i didn't select the fixture based on the application because this luminar the voltage and the lumen output of this one is little bright i hope the point of aiming and adjusting the tilt angle is clear now now there is one more advantage of using the uld file say that you worked on a project wherein you are using only the adjustable down lights right and you have kept different angles for each of the down light considering the lux values and the uniformity levels you have to achieve now you achieve the required target your design is approved when it goes to the installation and commissioning stage the person installing the lights on site doesn't know what is the tilt angle or the adjustable angle you have used so they are going to adjust it as per their perception so what is the advantage of dialogues here is you can export your tilt angles like say this this i need to export and i, ne I need to give it to my consultant and to consider this angle itself even while installation of the fixture on site so what i can do is select the luminar go to the edit joints and see here export angle as csv file export it i will name the file as tilt angle the file is basically an excel sheet and here you will be having all the details of your luminar even your tilt angle like say here is the tilt angle that is minus 13 degrees so this way dialogues will be helpful you can export each of the tilt angle of your luminar and provide it to your consultant or an architect to consider the same during the installation process i hope the point is clear now on rotatable angles tiltable angles and adjusting the aiming points of your luminars I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any queries regarding Dialogs Evo, please do let me know on the comments or you can write me an email at sumaya.lightdesign.gmail.com If you like this video, please hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in Dialogs with me. Thank you.